Thanks, uh, last can Corla. Tishak, I don't know if you know the post office in the square in Tala. It is extraordinarily busy whenever you go there, and it is more than just a post office. It is a community hub for many people, where workers are extremely helpful to those who are coming in, advising them on what to do, and uh, so on. But those workers and those who use the service are faced with uh, that post office becoming what's known as a contract run operation. In other words, it is being effectively privatised. Um, the workers are not being given any say in the matter. Uh, they are being told that you can either go and work not directly anymore for Unpost, or you can be redeployed elsewhere with no guarantee about where that would be in terms of how you're going to get to work, where you currently live, and so on, and no option of uh, redundancy. Um, the best thing here would be that these plans are withdrawn, uh, that it remains, they remain direct employees of Unpost, and the post office is not uh, privatised. Would you um, agree, Tisha? Deputy Murphy uh, raised the issue of the post office in the square in Tala, which, which I do know. Um, I am advised by Unpost that there won't be any diminution, any diminution of service uh, as they move uh, from the direct labour to the franchise model. Uh, that is ultimately a matter for on post rather than government. But I know Minister Chambers has met the, um, uh, the CEO of on post to discuss it, uh, given some particular concerns around the loss of iconic buildings in New Ross and uh, Roscommon and some other places.